All right, welcome back to another episode of What You Talking About Wednesday here at the Quick Speed Shop. So what I'm talking about today is a Ford I-Beam front suspension. This is a 1947 model, but it will suffice to cover most of these uh, front end layouts of these Fords. So what you got here is you got a triangulated front suspension with a triangle wishbone with a ball mount back here that mounts to the frame. It's isolated in rubber. And what this thing does is it pivots like this. If you can imagine a triangle, the thing pivots. Here's your front axle. It pivots like this on this rear pivot point and the front spring cross member here. You got your transverse spring, which on this model is covered in grease because there's factory grease fittings in it. You've got your front I-beam axle, which is forged and from the side is an I-beam. And attached to your axle, you've got your king pins and your spindles out here with your drum brakes. These are hydraulic drum brakes. They're self-energizing. This is the last model of the hydraulic brakes for this I-beam axle. In 1949, they went to independent front suspension. But this is a pretty much standard Ford all-stock I-beam front suspension. Now you'll notice the spring is ahead of the uh, axle in this, op in this model. In uh, 1930, let's see, I think 1935, they went to the spring ahead of the axle. Before that, the spring was mounted directly on top of the axle from 1928 to 1934. This is the widest kingpin or uh, spring spring bushing axle they made. They had several different widths. The earliest being the narrowest being the 1928 to 1930, uh, 1930. Five axles, and after that they went wider, I believe. Nineteen, no, 1928 to 1936, the axles where they had the smallest pin width, and then they went wider from there. So this is a all original out of a car. Low. This had cross steering. The original front ends from 1928 to 1934 had a drag link side steer on this side with a steering arm off the top here that, that side steered. In 1935 they went to a cross steer uh, tie rod back here. This model also has a, a uh, uh, what do you call it, track bar, which located the axle side to side up to 1941. They didn't have a track bar. They used the uh, spring to locate the front axle. 1942 to 1948, they went to the track bar style axle. This one is still equipped with the lever action hydraulic shocks. These have hydraulic fluid inside them. and and have friction and there's a little dog bone mount that mounts here and as the suspension went up and down this arm would go up and down and can and dampen the action after this in 1949 they went to a tube shock modern style shock absorber on the front ends but this is your what you're talking about wednesday look at an early ford i-beam front axle so thanks for watching please subscribe i'm putting out new videos every wednesday and saturday hit the bell for your alerts tell your friends and as always we'll see you right back here more What You Talking About Wednesday action at the Quick Speed Shop.